Okay, Max. Now, I'm going to be on my spiritual retreat for three days. I need you to do a favor for my patients. Uh, heal them while you're gone? <laughs> no. This is a complete list of their herbal treatments. I need you to follow it to the letter. Ah. Can do. Oh. <laughs> spiritual retreat is going to be great. Alone in the woods. Finally getting a chance to get back in touch with the rhythms of nature. Um, why are you packing a picture of me? Oh, the first night we burn a symbol of the thing that troubles us most. <laughs> By the way, this is for you. What is it? It's another copy of the list you just threw in the trash. Marion, I hope you don't think you're going on that retreat without taking a picture of me. He mm. takes one every year. <laughs> oh. Marion, I'm glad you're finally here. There's a message on the machine. They want you to do a shoe endorsement. The facts and the details. See, and here you are, Marion, thinking you're nothing but a broken down ex-jock. I never thought that. Ah! Woo! Ah, that was me! <laughs> man, Mr. Bimucho, cheese, man, you gonna do it? Well, it's according to the company. It depends. If they have dignity, quality... They want to pay you several thousand dollars. Or several thousand dollars. This is it! This is it! We'd be honored if you'd be the celebrity spokesman of our new athletic line of... Orthopedic shoes for active seniors. <laughs> Yeah, for senior citizens. Who cares? Your name is going to be all over the place. Magazine ads, commercials. Yeah, I can see it now. Hi, when I've had my prune juice and need to go to the bathroom, <laughs> I strap on my Marion Hill. Watch it, Max. Or you might find one of the Marion Hills hanging out the crack of your... Tonya! <laughs> I'm not endorsing any shoes for old folks. Why? You could use the money. You could fix up that rolling smart machine you call a Jeep. Hey, my Jeep is running fine. Oh, yeah, it's running so fine, it keeps running a half an hour after you shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is not about money. It's about image. Don't want people to remember me as Marion Hill, a football star, or Marion Hill, an orthopedic shoe salesman. You seem to have the impression that anyone remembers you at all. <laughs> Ignore him, Marion. Everybody knows that you're a great guy, and your image isn't going to change no matter what you do. Really? Dion Warwick, what do you think of first? 12 Go Records or the Psychic Friends Network? Dion Warwick used to sing. <laughs> That's an exception. Look, man, you can encourage the older seniors to get out there and exercise a little bit. Right, put some pizzazz into those drooling, diaper-wearing years. All right, all right. I don't need a bunch of people's opinions on this. I'll figure this out by myself on my retreat. Being in touch with nature helps me focus my thinking. Hey, guys. Oh, Coach, not another stiff neck. Mm. Oh, this is the third time this week. Yeah. yeah, well, don't come in here looking at me with them little puppy dog eyes thinking you're going to get a free massage. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll just go back to my car. Marion, could you help lower me through the sunroof, please? <laughs> Coach, what's with all the stiff necks? Hey, I'm under a lot of stress. A head coach has to make a lot of tough choices. Well, I can help you with that. Jock first, then pants. <laughs> You know, a few extra pounds and a smaller head, you make a great tackling dummy. <laughs> oh, man, I haven't slept all week. Okay, I'll go set up my table. Coach, you need to go to a spiritual place where you can get in touch with your higher self. Yeah, Vegas. <laughs> no, come on my spiritual retreat with me. I don't know about that, Marion. I'm not much for this new age touchy-feely stuff. <laughs> Come on, Coach. When was the last time you slept outdoors? Not counting the last year of my marriage? Uh, maybe you're right. Some fresh air would do me good. Great, great. All right, no responsibilities, no worries. By the way, you're going to have to drive. Oh, yeah, man. Your Jeep is a piece of junk. It's not that bad. Oh, no, no, no. It's very ecological. It gives oil back to the earth. <laughs> You're early for work study. You must have ran over here from high school. <laughs> Sorry, but
but you know it's not a good idea to date patients. You dated patients before. What about that guy with the dislocated shoulder? He didn't get that way till after he stood me up. <laughs> anyway, I don't want a bunch of people around here. I'm about to show Max my new exercise invention. Oh, two tennis balls with some tubing. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. What is it? <laughs> Tiffany, I give you the kink be gone. And I give it back. Here. Oh, no, no, check it out, check it out. Look, it's good for massaging those hard-to-reach muscle groups that your arms can't get. And that's not all. It's great for practicing cheerleading. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, yeah, baby. Hey, Tiffany, yeah, baby. Introduce yourself. <laughs> you know what else? You can even teach Jackie Chan a little something, something. <laughs> For them flat-chested sisters who can't get a man. What are you doing? Max, this is my new invention. I call it the kink be gone. Yeah, well, if you use it on anybody, we're gonna have to call it the patience be gone. It's really great. You should let me try it on you. Yeah, why don't I walk into a lion's den wearing meat pants? <laughs> Max, I am so you disrespected my work around here. These inventions are based on sound scientific principles. Oh, you mean like the electric boxer shorts you used on Mr. Peterson's groin pole? You're supposed to put heat on a sore muscle. Yeah, but it shouldn't be hot enough to fry bacon. <laughs> Look, Max, we embrace alternative medicine here, and Mary is said... gone, and while he is, I'm completely in charge, okay? High school. Look, this isn't over yet, Max. You can't dictate to me. As a matter of fact, I could teach you a thing or two about sports medicine. Look, Tonya, there's nothing that you know that I don't know. I knew they waxed that floor this morning. <laughs> Yo, this is great. Coach, what you think? That we should have taken the turn off to Reno. Come on, let's check out the inside. Right? Oh, this is perfect. Perfect? Marion, have you noticed there's no TV in here? There's no magic fingers on the bed. There's no bed. Coach, at these retreats, people don't spend a lot of time in their rooms. That's probably because it's more comfortable to sleep outside on that fire pit. But what do we eat? Man? Actually, we're supposed to be on a cleansing fast until tomorrow. Hey, Marion, are we prisoners of some war that I don't know about? <laughs> Marion, how you doing, man? Hey, good to see how you guys, you, man? man. Coach, this is Leonard, Derek, and Fred. Uh -huh. Well, Marion, I hope you're in shape, because we'll beat you at the survival hike tomorrow. Hey, the hike tomorrow is not about competition. It's not about records, all right? It's about you eating my dust for 21 miles. <laughs> I'm warning you, Mary. We're really into retreat this year. I've been fasting for two weeks. Mm. Man, what are you talking about? You ate three chocolate donuts on the way up. <laughs> but I ate them fast. <laughs> so, what brings you back, Mary? Well, I just wanted some peace and quiet, some time to commune with nature. Why are you here? I didn't ask enough questions. <laughs> well, I'm here for the release. I'm not gonna hike or fast. I'm just gonna sit in my hut and have a good long cry. <laughs> All righty, then. Hook up with you guys tomorrow, all right? Let it. Have a good cry. I don't, I don't know about this. Hiking, fasting, crying. This is not for me. Coats. Coats. There's nothing to meditation. Here, I'll show you. What do I do? Sit on the floor. Now try to clear your mind. Yeah. I usually try to chant the images that appear in my head. <sighs> Peace. Tranquility. Peace, tranquility. Nature. Wonderful. Rare. Rare. Prime rib. Harris Buffet, nine ninety nine. Coach! I'm mad I can't concentrate. My stomach's making too much noise. Will you just try to clear your mind and focus? For example... I'm trying to think about how people will remember me if I endorse these shoes. No, do you want my advice about the shoes? No. That's why I'm here, to figure this out myself. Now, the trees say, take the money. Who cares what people think? 
while the mountains say reputation is the footprint that you leave on the earth maybe the answer is I'm sorry, but Dr. Stanton can't see you this afternoon. He has a giant pain in the neck. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> How's Max doing? He's in a lot of pain, and every time I mentioned your name, he said really bad words. Well, what did he say? Well, let's just say the words Kevorkian with braids were used. <laughs> that man just doesn't respect my work. I'm gonna have to show him that the King Be Gone is more than just a good name. Hey, Tony. Hey, Daddy. So how are you and Max holding down the fort with Marion gone? Actually, I'm the only one holding down the fort. Max is pretty stiff. Well, give him a break. He went to prep school. <laughs> no, he hurt his neck. He's really stiff. Well, you know, Tony, you ought to get him to use the King Be Gone. It worked great for me. I wish he would. He won't use it. Well, I could recommend it. Yeah, like he's really gonna be listening to you. He's so busy flirting with you all the time. <laughs> Debbie, you know what? You could help me. We'll have Max begging to use the kink be gone. <laughs> Listen to the trees. They ask, what path do you want to take? While the mountains ask, how do you want to be remembered? I say we grab some dinner and let the trees in the mountains slug it out. Coach, where'd you go? I lost you during the hike. I'm sorry about that, man, but man, I saw something so beautiful. What, the sparkle of the sun on the lake? No, the gleam of that 7-Eleven sign down the road. <laughs> Want a Slim Jim? Coach, the purpose of a retreat is to leave all that behind. We're here to focus our thoughts and be one with nature. Okay, Marion, relax. All the stuff I got is natural. Look, potato chips come from potatoes, right? Corn nuts come from corn, and Tootsie Rolls come from Tootsie. All right, it's a stretch, but I like them. Coach, I can't concentrate on what I came up here for if you're going to keep dragging in all these distractions. Excuse me, I'll stay out of your way. Well, tell me something. Where did you hide the car keys? I got a big day planned for tomorrow, and I got to get my rifle out of the trunk. You brought a rifle with you? Yeah. I'm going to do some hunting tomorrow. Nobody hunts on a spiritual retreat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Only do I catch some ducks with their pants down. <laughs> Coach, we're not going to hunt. We're here to be one with nature, not mounted on the hood of a car. Okay, okay, man, but at least I can enjoy this. Look, try it my way, all right? You're not gonna hunt, you don't need champagne. No, but I want champagne. You can have it when you get home, that we're here to be one with nature. <laughs> What's that? Looks like you touched nature a little harder than you intended to. Tonya, I thought I told you not to use that thing on our lovely young clients. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Dr. Stanton. Oh, please, it's Max. Oh. Tonya, your kink be gone worked wonders. See, Max, somebody appreciates my inventions. What are you talking about? I always appreciated your inventions, no matter how many times the patent office rejects them. <laughs> um, so what happened to your neck? Well, you know, a mugger, a tussle, a citizen's arrest. <laughs> Looks like it hurts. Ah, yeah, well, it is painful, but I take comfort in knowing the streets are just a little bit safer. <laughs> well, I wish you were feeling better. I have an extra ticket to the Tony Braxton concert. And I'd love to. Well, are you sure? I mean, they do a lot of dancing in her shows and in your condition. A dancing? Ah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I'll see you after work. <laughs> Ooh, Max, hot date. Too bad you'll be screaming all night. And not in a good way. All right. Give me one of your massages. No, come on. I want to show you the power of the kink be gone. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this, but I'm desperate. It's all right. Don't worry, Max. You're in good hands. Mm, great. That's just what you said right before you tried your electric boxes on Mr. Peterson. <laughs> as we call him now, Rawhide. <laughs> Coach, what are you doing? I'm preparing to become one with this duck. We're not going to eat that bird. I made this casket so we can give it a proper burial. Oh, we don't have to bury it. I'm going to cremate it until it's golden brown. 